back at it again. And we've got one here from SJW Trigger. Shout out to SJW Trigger. Uh, go and subscribe to their YouTube channel as well. But we don't have one that's too, too crazy today. You know? Well, we got a little compilation of good old Joe. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> you know, just being an absolute idiot. Like, share, comment. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And let's dive in. We're the fastest growing. We in the United States already the fastest growing. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> he didn't even get a handshake now i don't know if, if that's like their thing you know if, if y'all know let me know in the comment section like maybe they don't do handshakes but hey i i, I just yeah, obviously there was a clear difference between Uncle Trump being there and Joe being there. Anyway. For our freedoms and who are overwhelmingly with us in our mission to defend them. What do Republicans have in store next? You can't travel to buy a book. You can't travel. Man, I know this bozo ain't talking about with, uh, um, taking away freedoms. I Let me stop. You know, I, I'm going to be I'm going to be respectful to see a, a concert or a play if they doesn't meet their, shall we say, I don't even use the word standards. There's their what? Do you remember, girl? You're kidding, right? <laughs> No, this, the, the question was for the president. And Mr. President, do you want to call on the next question? Um, sure. Uh, I, I was you give, give a list here. I, uh, and uh, I've had the honor. What? It's hard to say these words for over 50 years. I can't be that long. But for over 50 years uh, in the federal government. Today, the government and the Thank you, President Herzog. And ten years old. Whose hand was he reaching out to shake? <laughs> and she was forced to have to travel out of the state to Indiana to seek to terminate the presidency and maybe save her life. What did you say? The presidency. To seek to terminate the presidency and maybe save her life. Maybe you should terminate your presidency. Uh, <laughs> Terminate the presidency and maybe save her life. Because when you look at inflation, when we look at where we are economically, and we are in a strong, uh, we are stronger economically than we have been uh, in history. Excuse me, uh, the, uh, the f did you just say? Uh, we are stronger economically than we have been uh, in history. Bro, like. <laughs> Who got the compilations on uh, uh, KJP? I, I I know they're out there. Who got the compilation? Because, man, the, the number of clips that I come across of her saying the most BS, biggest BS statement. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I almost asked, how does she even still have this job? But we all know why she got the job and why she still has the job even though she's absolutely terrible i love her name love her name i've said that before love her name but beyond that i mean when it, when it when it comes to her doing her job i mean it's terrible now she does have a really really difficult job uh probably the most difficult in america <laughs> you know defending this administration it's got to be extremely 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 hard <laughs> I know she dyes her hair. <laughs> that whole that whole top right there, all of that is gray. I guarantee it. 
Uh, when you look at the jobs numbers, uh, more than 8.7 million of, of new jobs created. That is important. Sure, Jan. They want me to run. Two-thirds say they Read don't. Read the poll. Read the poll, Jack. You guys are all the same. That poll showed that 92% of Democrats, if I ran, would vote for me. A majority of Democrats say they don't want you to run again in no. 2024. 92% said if I did, they'd vote for me. Read the poll. Read the poll. 64% of Democrats don't want Biden to run for a second term. A majority of Democrats don't want Biden to run again. Most Democrats don't want Biden. Um, now, I, I I will, because I'm fair. I try to be fair. And I'll be fair here. Make no mistake about it. Don't like Joe. Terrible president. Probably the worst ever. I don't know that for a fact. Haven't been on this earth very long. Okay. Um, but, you know, from everything that I've seen and I've heard. Worst ever. But he did say. Polls said if he did run. They would vote for him. These say they just don't want him to run at all. These don't address exactly what he said. So I want to see the poll that that, you know. That uh, shows if Biden did run, how many Democrats would actually still vote for him and forget about, you know, them not even wanting him to be on a ticket at all. So I listen. Gosh, I, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's hard trying to step up and, and, and defend these folks because they're so terrible, but I'm fair. I, at least I try to be OK. And, and, and that's 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 fair right there. All right. Um, yeah. But also polls did show that him versus Uncle Trump, he takes that L. <laughs> In Massachusetts right now, those crisis pregnancy centers that are there to fool people who are looking for pregnancy termination help outnumber true abortion clinics by three to one. We need to shut them down here in Massachusetts and we need to shut them down all around the country. You should not be able to torture a pregnant person like that. Stop it. How was that torture? Having someone come in and talk to them? They're, they're free to walk out and go do whatever they want to do. What are you talking about? Bumbling idiot. Get some help. Get some help, please. Yes. Is a MJ, Taliban tell takeover him. of Afghanistan now inevitable? No. But the likelihood there's going to be the Taliban overrunning everything and owning the whole country is highly unlikely. Your own intelligence community has assessed that the Afghan government will likely collapse. That is not true. They clearly have the capacity to sustain the government. Do you see Wrong any again. parallels between this withdrawal and what happened in Vietnam with some people feeling... Like None whatsoever. Were... There's going to be no circumstance where you see people being lifted off the roof of a embassy in the, of the United States from Afghanistan. Wrong once again. The likelihood there's going to be... Omar Blue. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, rem I remember this. I remember this. Watch the guy's gonna step in and say like, I, I, at least I think this was that situation. The one of the guys on stage is gonna step in and be like, no, guys, don't do that. <laughs> they don't like her, son. Don't do this. For what? They're Boo. voicing their opinions. Boo. See, see, see? Democrats are all about freedom. <laughs> all about blaming Republicans for trying to take away freedoms. But then when, you know, uh voters actually exercise that right. Oh no, don't don't do that, guys. Don't do that. No, please do. They are very unhappy with her. And let her know. That they are unhappy. <laughs> oh man. 
Probably got to mute this this uh, music that's in the background of this thing. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna mute it myself because uh, there, there's some music playing in there. I, I I caught myself. I was over here like swaying to the music and everything. I'm like, my goodness. Person in the White House. Hold on. What what was that? What was that? I'm assuming it said Trudeau when he hears the word freedom. Or Joe. I can't I can't see exactly what the the end of that says because uh. The SJW Triggered logo is, is covering it. Something when he hears the word freedom. So either uh, Trudeau or Joe. Which. I guess both of them. Really. Because <laughs> I know Trudeau is not great either. Uh, and uh, obviously we know Joe is terrible. Person in the White House who even after years of political experience, has absolutely no clue how to be the President of the United States. And I hope he has recovered, because as you know, he fell off his bicycle today. No, I'm serious, I hope he's okay. Fell off a bicycle. I make this pledge to you today, I will never ever ride a bicycle. <laughs> As president, I cut the federal deficit by $350 billion. And you know how much I cut it this year? Cut. Cut this year. By the end of September, I will have cut the federal budget by $1 trillion, $400 billion. Cut the deficit. Bro, with the way these Democrats be out here spending, oh, ain't <laughs> double hockey sticks now. <laughs> Ray Charles could see that that's a lie. <laughs> Bro, they, they be throwing dollars everywhere. Oh, 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 you get a check. You get a check. You get some more money. Oh, Michelle, you need some money for your trail? You get some money. Oh, Obama, you need some money for your... You get some money. Oh, you need a check too? You get some money. Bro, I know for a fact they ain't cut that down. Okay, I don't know this for a fact because I haven't exactly looked at the numbers recently. But, um... I have, I, you know, I can, I can make an educated guess <laughs> on where that's going. Uh, CNN uh, fact checker slams Biden's claim that he reduced federal deficit. Oh, and CNN fact checked him. Ooh, ooh. That doesn't happen too often. Like, why is it that Matt Gaetz. the women with the least likelihood of getting pregnant oh. are the ones most oh. worried about having abortions? <laughs> <laughs> I think I said something like that too before. Oh man, ain't it true though? Isn't it true? I'm not trying to be rude, you know. I'm 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 not. But we we've seen the videos together, y'all. Let's 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 call a spade a spade. <laughs> Man, some of these chicks that be out here screaming. Um, oh, y'all no, y'all remember that clip where the chick was like, my choice, my choice. And she was like in the guy's face, my choice, my choice. Like, come on, come on, come on, fellas, fellas. <laughs> some of y'all know the clip I'm talking about. I, I, I wish I could find it right now. And, and stitch it into here, but I, there's no way that I'm finding that clip, that exact clip. Oh man! But that that's popping up in my head when she was just the crazy with the crazy eyes. My choice, my choice, and she's like 400 pounds. My choice. <laughs> oh man! Oh, continue on, Matt Gates. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I I shouldn't be saying such mean things. That's terrible. That's terrible of me. 
wants to impregnate you if you look like a thumb. Oh. Oh. Is it safe to say that based off of your comments, you're suggesting that these women at these abortion rallies are ugly and overweight? Yes. But if I say what I mean, I mean what the hell I say. What do you say to people who think that those comments are offensive? Be offended. <laughs> Bro, this, 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 this is why I rock with Matt Gates. This is why I rock with Matt Gates. Yes, be offended. I'm not bowing down to the mob. Be offended. Go cry in the corner. Boo hoo. Man, shout out to Matt Gates. My guy. My guy. Ladies and gentlemen, today we remember and we reaffirm freedom is worth the sacrifice. Democracy is not perfect. It's never been good, perfect. Never been good? Democracy is not perfect. It's never been good. Enjoy that video, and even if you... Okay. Okay. Shout out to SJW Triggered on that one. Um. <laughs> hey, if y'all had a good laugh, hit that like button. Hit the arrow button down below. Copy the link. Send it to a friend. Via text message, via Facebook messenger. Post it on your Twitter or your, your Facebook, Instagram or whatever. Share it with somebody. Somebody else might want to get a laugh in too. Peace and love. I'm out.